Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to change your default apps in Windows 10. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click on the Windows Start menu icon. You now need to go onto Settings and you now need to go on to apps. You now need to select the default apps on the left hand side here and in this window here you'll be able to see what your default apps are for things such as your email, your music player, your photo viewer and your web browser. So if you do want to change these all you need to do is for example the web browser you would just click where mine says Microsoft Edge and you can change it to Firefox, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. So if I click on Firefox press switch anyway and you can now see that my web browser is on Firefox. If you then want to change the default app for your photos again you would just click here and you can then choose something from the list here so if you have got a different app installed that you want to use it should be listed here. Alternatively you can actually click on look for an app in the Microsoft Store. It will then open the store up and you can then install a different app and you can then choose that as your default one. If you then scroll down, you can also choose your default apps by file type. So if you click here, so this is where you can choose what apps you would like to open with certain file types or file extensions. So for example, if we scroll down and find PDF, currently if I open a PDF file, it's going to open with Microsoft Edge. So if I click here, I can then choose Adobe Reader, and as you can see, it's changed here. If I then scroll down a bit further, so I can now change what a text document will open with or a .txt file. So currently if I was to open one it's going to open with WordPad. So again you just click here and you can change it to LibreOffice or Notepad. If you've got other apps installed or programs then they will be listed here. And again you can also look for an alternative app in the Microsoft Store. So if I just go ahead and press Notepad every time I open a text document it will now by default open with notepad so then you won't keep getting that annoying notification popping up saying what do you want to open this with but that's it for this tutorial I hope this video did help if it did hit the like button below and subscribe